Hi, I'm Drew Johnson, president of ETS, and I'm here with one of our favorite partners, GNW Electric's uh, Graham Leard. Graham, thanks so much for joining. Not a problem. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming down from Chicago to Austin to have this sort of creative conversation. I, you know, I guess first of all, you're a little younger than a few of the folks we've been interviewing. Very true. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's new at GNW? Uh, G&W, we're uh, working on quite a bit of uh, new technology, new processes, and uh, we're doing those types of things in collaboration with some of the larger utilities in the U.S. specifically. Okay. Uh, we have a product portfolio that is uh, sort of maturing over the last couple of years. What, what, what's been your foundation? Our foundation is uh, medium voltage switch gear. So we make switching equipment and fault protection equipment that goes out primarily on the distribution networks for utilities. And so now you have these new applications on right. this new foundation, mm -hmm. right? Uh, this more digitally connected grid. So what's that new portfolio like? Uh, we're moving from... Uh, and, and when's it coming out? Sure. Well, I can give you a little bit info on that. But uh, okay. we're moving from... Uh, and overall, the industry is moving from... Uh, distribution equipment out on the network that yeah. acts as its own individual entity. And now they're starting to talk to one or two other switches and get a little more intelligent. And now, which uh, we're talking a lot about here at ETS, is microgrids and distributed generation and how do multiple switches talk to each other on multiple loops and not even just to improve reliability of those circuits, but yes. to manage maybe new generation that's coming online and tie yes. that all together. And that's kind of where some of our technology is going to work with our uh, utility partners in kind of a collaborative effort to see what new products are needed now, what new products are gonna be needed in five years, mm -hmm. and how does GNW grow with those partners over the coming years. So you're growing in this level of connectedness on this network of networks. You know, it's interesting. Those are some of the main themes of ETS 16 are this distributed logic, this remote decision making, mm -hmm. this situational awareness. Sure. One of the things I love about GNW is not only the level of amount of customization that you guys have had to do because you've worked with so many different campuses. Sure. But how much we're learning from the fundamental exceptional approach of those campuses that are leaders in that space are really doing what DER and microgrid and islanding have purported to achieve. Mm -hmm. And so how does that sort of put GNW in sort of an unfair advantage situation as far as your future portfolio? Uh, it's interesting. We are uh, certainly a custom engineered company. It's, yes. it's in our slogan, engineered to order and built to last. And so our ability to work with those customers on new technologies is maybe a little better than others in the industry uh, where we have that in-house expertise and yes. we have that in-house engineering capability that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's easy for us to expand that into uh, new development opportunities rather than just maybe ex expanding capabilities of existing products. We can really use that in-house expertise to make the newest product rather yeah. than an enhancement of something existing. So, full disclosure, I just did a two, two and a half hour tour of the good tour. manufacturing mm -hmm. and sort of a, a whole supply chain and logistics of what you guys do at GNW. Mm -hmm. Not only was I commenting to your group about the safety features of everything, sure, uh, but the level of sort of sequencing that you guys are doing. Tell me a little bit about the culture working at GNW. I mean, that's a pretty systems heavy approach and you guys have invested a lot in new staff to sort of build out this, these new features of the future. Certainly. Uh, working at GNW is really like working within a big family. We're a, really? pri we're <laughs> a private, nice. it is. It's really a nice place to work. Uh, it's a family owned business. Uh, really? The majority owner and the largest minority owners are all related siblings. Wow. Uh, so while it is a bigger small business, we're still mm -hmm. a small business. And uh, we've recently moved in the last couple of years. We took over a facility in uh, Bolingbrook, just southwest of Chicago, yep. and built out that manufacturing space to fit our exact needs and how we wanted to grow the company. Yeah. And uh, I would encourage anybody that wants to learn a little more about G&W and how we do business and how we make our products, come see us. And yeah. like you mentioned, you'll get a tour that's yeah. anywhere from one to three hours, depending <laughs> on your level <laughs> of interest. Depending on who does it. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll just open up the whole factory and show anybody that wants to know how, well, how we build our gear. Well, and I'll tell you, uh, H. Christine Richards, our research director, uh, one of the things she's done in the past is she's done 
work in the manufacturing space, mm -hmm. uh, working with these larger manufacturers. And she said, you know, for a, a manufacturing location, this was a pretty advanced one at that. Sure. Um, what, what are the kind of advances that you guys hope to bring to the industry rather than wait for the industry to bring? Uh, that's a good question. Um, well, I guess I'll go back to the manufacturing space specifically. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest changes that uh, you'll notice when you walk into our facility is everything is climate controlled, humidity controlled, temperature that. controlled. So it can be 85 degrees and 100% humidity in Chicago, and it'll be 73 and you know a certain specific humidity yeah. at the GNW factory. So that's. Uh, uh, wow. It allows I mean, us to kind of... A lot of sensors yeah, right oh, there. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a... Oh, I get it. So it's, that's so that's like a, a, it's a... It's certainly a uh, worker safety, worker health type yeah. thing, worker comfort, but it's also from a technology standpoint, we're working with more and more sensitive electronics. Yeah. So being able to control that whole facility really gives us a little advantage to where we can manufacture specific components within the facility. Kind of have freedom now. I like that. That's a nice hint of what's to come. So last question for you. So. Where'd you go to school? Purdue. And how much of your campus work that you guys do is in the Big Ten? Uh, we have switched gear at many of the Big Ten campuses. I don't want to say all, uh, but... Why do you invest in that sort of educational community then? Uh, well, we invest there because you know, our, our next talent pool is going to come from one of those universities. Uh, we invest heavily within the Big Ten within Illinois, uh, certainly because we're based there. We have some executive level employees that are graduates of universities yeah. around the Illinois area. Yeah. Uh, we certainly have lots of engineers from uh, other schools in the Big Ten, like Purdue, like myself. And uh, they're also customers of ours. Yeah. So it's uh, really a full circle relationship where we can draw from their talent pool, the next level of uh, new kids coming out of school, the next things that they know, what they can teach us, and then what we can teach them through internship opportunities, that type of thing. And then uh, also, you know, we can sell our equipment into those universities and yep. you know, make a profit for the company and get, deliver a good service to those, those universities. Well, as our industry advances, it is clear that new ideas need friends, and I'm glad that you guys build that sort of collegial, trusted relationship with those kind of places, because I will say, there is a change of coming, and mm -hmm. I'm glad that you sort of are that new face of, uh, of the next level of GW Electric. Graham, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, not a problem. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.